part of working in short cycles is the idea that we don't wait for definition. This is a trap that software teams get caught in all the time. They believe they can't start working because they don't have definition. They don't have requirements. They don't have uh, the process. They don't have something defined. Maybe there's a team out there that's building a component and they haven't told you what the API is yet. So you think you cannot start because they haven't defined the API. That's balderdash. You start anyway. Define it for them if you have to. Right? If you don't have the requirements, build something. It is far better to do something than to do nothing. The sin of omission is, is very expensive in our industry because you are collecting your salary anyway. And so it is better to be doing something. If your customer cannot define the requirements uh, and, is, and just can't seem to get them done, then you define them. Work with them. Work with them. Work to get the definition done. Don't be blocked by a lack of definition. Never be afraid that you are building something you'll have to throw away. You will have to throw it away. That's okay. You will have learned a tremendous amount. And then, then when you do it the second time, it will go much, much faster and much, much better. The way to make sure you waste time is to do nothing, to wait. Then you are truly wasting time. But if you act, even if you throw your actions away, you have built neurons in your brain that will work better from then on. So do not wait for definition. And if you are in the state of not having enough definition, abstract away volatility. Separate those things that are liable to change from those things that are not liable to change. Work on the things that you know aren't going to change and build abstraction layers, interfaces and component interfaces and, and socket interfaces and whatever you want oh, to abstract the volatility away. Keep the things that change at a distance from you. Build the things that you know aren't going to change. And then once you have that nice interface, that abstract interface, you can create all the volatile stuff you want, but the core stuff won't change. Remember the open-closed principle. The open-closed principle is all about abstracting away volatility, separating the things from cha that change from the things that don't, and allowing you to extend the nice stuff that's stable with all the volatile stuff later.